Well, stock channel. From this video or from this tutorial, we are going to start our next point that is layout manager. Now, what exactly is the use of this layout manager? So, my dear friends, whatever the components are there that you are going to arrange in a particular format, for that purpose, we use a layout manager. As I told in AWT hierarchy, the container which contains another component, may that means the container itself have a layout manager. Okay, that means in short to tell you the layout manager is used to position a particular control, particular component which is nothing but the class of AWT and appropriate position using some of the layout format, different format that we are going to see one by one. Now what exactly we are going to take the support for using this layout manager. So for this purpose, we are going to use a method set layout. So using this particular method, we are going to add, going to use a particular layout, okay? And here it will have a layout manager. Layout manager object. Okay, so using this method, having the one parameter where you have, here you have to pass the object of a particular layout manager. Now layout manager, here it's the interface just remember this the layout manager layout manager is not a class it uh, it is an interface now one by one we are going to see a different layouts which are for your syllabus this layout implements and it's the interface it implements the layout manager so remember this that means this layout manager are used to position a particular control at a particular position and appropriate as per the requirement using the different layouts okay so this is what a layout manager the first one is the flow layout that we are going to see So now moving towards our flow layout, the which one is the first first layout we are going to see. As I told, we use set layout method for using or for arranging a particular layout manager for using. If you don't put any kind of uh, layout, then you can pass there none. Okay. Now how exactly we are going to use layout this lay, flow layout manager? Okay. Now here, if you have, you will be having one question that whenever we don't use any kind of layout, we pass the null. What, what is the default layout? Just remember, flow layout is your default layout. Default layout is this. The flow layout is a default layout. Now, whatever the screen is there, suppose this is your output screen. Suppose I took the button here okay and here then is a text field then again here i will take a button that means in flow layout as the name tells flow it will flow your components whatever you take one by one component it will be positioned from the left to right and again from top to bottom okay so it will have a particular flow in this way the flow layout will arrange your components okay now we will see here the flow layout constructor the flow layout here is a blank which don't contain any kind of parameter. So it will create a default flow layout. Okay, now the next one is a flow layout integer how. Now integer how here what will be your constants? That is flow layout dot left, flow layout dot right and dot center. Now what exactly its meaning? Now suppose now this is your output screen. Okay. Now this is the output screen. Now here if I pass flow layout dot center then the component which you have taken it will be at the center. This will be at your center and it will be arranging from this left to right from top to bottom. And just remember this is a default layout always. Now if suppose you pass here left then these components will be arranged at the left side. From the left side it will be all the components will be from the left side. Okay, so as per the requirement of a user, we use this constant. Now, next one is integer how, integer horizontal and vertical. Now, integer here how, we have to pass the parameter, this constant as per the requirement and here horizontal and vertical. What exactly is the meaning here? You have to pass uh, some of the numbers that will be the space. 
here it will be have a horizontal space and here it will have a vertical space between the two components now here you will have one question that here we don't specify the space and what is the default so default so default size default space will be a 5 pixels between the two components so default default space between the two components when you don't specify is 5 pixels so this is overall about the flow layout